Hey folks, welcome back to the Uomps Ads channel. Today we're going to be talking about markers and what they can do for you. Markers is a great tool for adding notes to your timeline. This can be helpful for client feedback and for making revisions. Go ahead and click your playhead to a point that you want to add a marker. This might be a place where you want to add a note, where you want to remind yourself of something like changing a shot or fixing a mistake. If we want to create a marker on the timeline, we have to click off the shot and hit M on our keyboard. But if we want to create a marker on the shot itself, we have to select the shot and hit M on our keyboard. So you'll see that there are markers in two different places. Right now, let's just focus on the timeline marker. If you want to modify the marker, you can double click it and the marker settings will pop up right here. And we have a few different things that we can do here. The main thing that you're going to want to use it for is adding notes. So let's say that I'm not happy with this shot right here. I might remind myself to change shot later. I can change the marker color to whatever I want. Maybe I want to go with a purple. It's helpful to assign certain colors for certain notes. So definitely use these colors to your advantage. Press OK. So I have a marker right here. If I hover over them, you'll see that my note is right here. But let's say I want to be able to see the note on the timeline directly. We can actually drag this out. Start off by holding down Option on your keyboard. For PC users, that is holding down Alt. You'll have to click it first and then drag out this end here. So now I can adjust the length of this shot. I'm going to have it go the entire length of the shot. So let me just see where this ends here. Okay, so right here. So I'm just going to drag this over here and then drag this to the beginning. So now this entire shot is covered. Now, as we mentioned before, we can add markers to the shots itself. And you can do that by selecting the shot and hitting M on your keyboard. So this will not only show up on your timeline, but it'll show up on the clip itself. Even if we shorten the clip and we lose the marker here, we can actually still view that marker by opening it up in the source monitor. You'll see that it is still right here. That's if you want to make notes on the clips itself. Now let's say that we want to get rid of the markers. You can select the marker, right click, select clear selected marker to get rid of that. Let's say there's multiple markers on one clip that you want to get rid of. You can actually just right click and select clear markers and it'll clear all of them at once. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the Uwampasaz channel for more Adobe tutorials. Are there other aspects of Premiere Pro that you want me to talk about? Please let me know in the comments below. Have a good day, folks.